what is up guys the post pig here and today i am back with another let's make a forge mod tutorial and this mod we're actually gonna get i mean this video we're actually gonna start in on some coding and we're gonna be making our very first item that we're gonna be using in our mod so if you haven't seen the last episode where we set all this stuff up make sure to go watch it unless you already have it all set up then you know just follow along but if there's ever anything where if you set it up by yourself and it's not working for you, just make sure to go watch that video that I had. The first episode is on my channel. So, um, we're in Eclipse, which we opened up. We went into our workspace, so we see this Minecraft folder. Let's just jump right in. So, you're going to want to expand that down and go in and expand source and then scroll down and find the package that we made in our last episode. Here we have the posterpig.mod manager. Now, this probably isn't named posterpig.modmanager unless you named it that in the last episode. This is just whatever you made it. So you want to select that and then press the new class button. So here is where our, this is going to be our main class. So you're going to call it mod and then whatever you want. I'm going to be making a pig mod, I guess. So I'm going to call it mod piggies. That's it. You know, you could name it. Oh, I spelled that wrong, didn't I? Well, just, just to, I, I'm just going to, um remake it just so I have it spelled right because um oh here it goes but um you can name it whatever you want but you just gonna have to remember that that's your main class and I'll be referring to mine as mod piggies and you know you can totally name it whatever you want just remember that when I say mod piggies I am you I'm talking about my mod piggies and you're gonna be using whatever yours is so um I made a forum page for my mods Let's make a mod series and now you're going to want to go to that because that has all the source code on it. So you'll see in the description, it'll take you to an ad fly page, wait five seconds, skip the ad, and then here we're going to be. You just kind of want to scroll down until you see episode two, creating our first item and expand the spoiler. So <clears throat> the YouTube video is coming soon because that is what I am videoing right now at this very second. And so you're going to want to take where it says code one. This is what we want to take. We want to take code one not code two, code one, and then select it all, right click and copy. Then we want to go into our mod piggies, right click, select all this, and you can delete that, right click and paste. Now, you might get, I'm just gonna kind of space some of this stuff out while I'm talking. You might get um, some more errors than I'm gonna be getting because, um, well, let me explain it in just a second. I just kind of like to space it out just so it, it's a little bit nicer and I'll be explaining a bit more on this stuff. Hold on, let me just get all this stuff spaced out because I, I like it better when it's spaced out. Here we go, do do do. You can space it out too, just so, because we're gonna be using this class a lot, so it's kind of important that it's all nicely organized and stuff, so Let's see, let's begin our actual uh, coding and start doing some stuff. So let me start explaining this. So first thing you want to know about Eclipse, it's the program we're using, you can do, um, you see all this code, how it's in red and purple? This is like the actual code. This is the code, but you see this green stuff? If you do a double backslash, it'll make a comment. So you can just comment and just to keep yourself reminded of things, you know, just to keep stuff organized. So let's start looking at um, what, ha what like, look at the code. So at the top, where's this package, the posterpig.modmanager, this is going to most likely give you an error because unless your package that we created over here is the posterpig.modmanager, it's going to have a red line under it. So what you need to do is look over here at your package where it says, like, let's say it's called YouTube.cal, I don't know. So then you need to change this to say YouTube, whoa, hold on, you need to change this to say YouTube dot cow right so this is what it'll probably look like for you so or you could just click this light bulb and then click change to and then it'll automatically fix it for you so there we go now we have our post -man mod manager no um no errors at all so this import stuff right here what is this we are this is importing other classes from minecraft and let lets us use them so we do not have to rewrite them so that's, that's just what it's using it's let us use the other minecraft base code so down here, 
This part is for Minecraft Forge. Do you know, what, have you ever installed Minecraft Forge? And there's that little tab that says mods on your home screen and you can go in there and it gives you information on the mods. That's what this is for. So you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine Mod Piggies. And then the name of the mod, that's where Forge displays it, is the Golden Piggies mod. And then it's version 1.0. So just fill this all out to your liking. This is going to be version 1.0, the very first version of our mod. Next, it is client side, which means it's only for single player. Server side, no, we're not doing a server mod. Okay, so <clears throat> right here where it says public static item gold pig. This is going to be the item we're making. We're going to be making a little gold pig. It's not going to be a mob. It's just going to be an item that you can hold in your hand. So you know, make, so you can change this. Let's say you're going to make a pipe. I don't know. Then change that to pipe. This, the word, the, the, what it says right here doesn't really matter. This is just what, this is just, just what the code of your mod is going to refer your item as. So I'm going to refer it as golden pig. You can do whatever you want. And then, um, down here, we're going to, um, define it. There's an error right here. You should be getting an error right here. That is good. And then this number right here is the item ID. Like what I item ID is it going to have in Minecraft? I think I'll just change this to 800. You just want to make sure that it's not going to have the same item ID of, a num of, a, of an item already in Minecraft. Now down here, language registry, it's saying we're gonna it's saying we're gonna name an item. Like what's it actually what's what's in Minecraft? What's it actually gonna be called? So we're saying we're gonna name the item Gold Pig that we talk about all up here, and we're gonna name it Golden Piggy. I'll name it the Golden Piggy. There. <clears throat> so then what we're gonna do is this error right here. This is referring to another class. Like this is a class we're in right here in Mod, Mod Piggies. And the error right here is saying, hey, there is not a class called Golden Pig. So let's create a class called Golden Pig. Just press finish. And then we can delete all this. Go back to the forum page and go down where it says code two. Select all this, right click, copy, back over here, right click and paste. There we go. So I'm just gonna space out a little more stuff like this. For some reason, when I put it on the form, it takes away all my nice spaces. So you will get another error up here, most likely, about the package. You'll just need to change the package name to whatever you have. And then <clears throat> if you did not name your class Gold Pig, it's probably going to get an error every time it says Gold Pig in here. So um, like, let's say I change this to Gog. I don't even know. Like you see, it's going to get an error. So, I'll ch I'll, I'll, so what I have to do is just change all these do gold pig just make sure to because it's going to say gold pig when you use it so just make sure to change all the gold pigs to whatever your class is called now also um this part right this is just importing more stuff um this right here is just saying that it's an item over here we're telling it what creative tab we want to put it in in the creative menu it's going to be in the creative tab materials i guess you can change that to item to tab combat, tab miscellaneous, tab building blocks or whatever. So then down here we're talking um, about well this line. Um, this line is just you know usual stuff. You just want to make sure that it all says so mod piggies. You're gonna get an error here because this is looking for the class mod piggies. If your main class is not called mod piggies, you're gonna need to change it to mod sheep or whatever whatever you called it before mine is called mod piggies also right here where it says gold pig this is saying go look in a class called mod piggies and look for an item that we called golden pig so whatever you call it here it needs to be called that here and then item id you know the item id it's looking for the item <coughs> id that is right there so now down here, this is saying we want to find the image that we're going to use for the, uh, so this is, we're telling it where to look for the image that we're going to be creating in a little bit. So I'm going to call this golden pig. This is what my image file is going to be called for this mod. So um, I'll go show, we'll, we'll be making that in just a second. So name this something and make sure you remember that because we're going to be using it later. So we are almost done. Now we need to create the image 
icon for our item golden pig gold pig or whatever yours is so i'm going to be using a program called gimp for this there's a link to download that in the description it is free super awesome and easy you can use whatever you want but i suggest gimp it is super easy works exactly the way we need it to it is free and all that awesome stuff so when you download it gimp and install it um you're just going to probably get something like this you want to go file new and we want to be creating a 16 by 16 um, image because that is the image in Minecraft. You want to, um, that's like the depth, or not the depth, the pixel, the, I don't know, what's, what's it called? The pixel um, width and height, I get. Yes, so you want to expand advanced options and you want to change the color, the fill, fill with transparency because we want the back to be transparent, not white or anything. Then press OK and it is going to come up here you can expand it and then you need to use hold down sh on a mac you need to hold down shift and the plus button to make this bigger so we can have a bigger canvas to work on you don't need to hold down anything just press the minus button and it will be minused so forgive me if this is going to be a bit really bad drawing you can work on your texture too but i'm going to try my very very best draw a golden pig it's going to be really bad I mean, you know, I, I don't even know how to draw a golden pig. So I just clicked on here, you know, I was able to change the colors. I'm going to use my pencil tool. Make sure the size is at one so we can just color one pixel at a time. And yeah, there's a ton of other settings you can fool around with, but we don't really need those for this tutorial. Well, I changed the size. But so I'm going to work right now on making a really bad golden pig. It's not going to be bad on purpose, but... Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Well, and you guys can be working on yours as well. Let's see. No. Ah. This is not this is not turning out good. Come on. Let's see nice black eyes. Ah. This is looking bad. So, and also you can do command Z to um edit undo and cha and make it so it undo undoes what you did before. And, or you could just go up here and do edit, undo, pencil. And then it will go back one stroke. This looks horrible. This looks absolutely awful. No, oh dear, I messed up one. Okay, come on, let's go. No, come on. Ah. So, you just want to make sure not to color over the stuff you've already done. Here we go. Oh, this looks horrible. Wow. So, let's see, can we, like... I don't know, make it more 3D. Ah, 3D more. Oh, this is supposed to go out one more, isn't it? Yep. More 3D. Maybe we could have little ears. Ears, these look like horns. Oh, this is looking bad. Let's see. Yeah, do do do. This is not. This is a golden pig. Whatever, it is fine. So, whatever. Once you finish <laughs> your horrible drawing, um, you're going to want to go File and then Export. And then you want to make sure the end is a PNG. And I'm going to name this Golden Pig. Remember, you want to name this what you called it here when we did the, in the, in the Golden Pig Java file. What you named it here is that what you want to export it as. I'm going to export it onto my desktop. Press Export, Export. And then you can just quit GIMP and you don't and you want you can click discard changes unless you want to save it as another file we can go back and edit it later. Now we're going to want to be going into our workspace. Now I saved this on my desktop before. I don't know where you guys put it. We talked about that in the last episode, but I moved it to into my files. So we have our Minecraft Forge coding folder that has all this crazy stuff in it. So once you get to your workspace where wherever you saved it you're going to want to go into mcp then you want to go to jars versions 1.6.4 and here we are also this could work with another version of minecraft not just 1.6.4 so you want to find your 1.6.4 jar now if you are on a pc you can open this up with winrar if you have it and if you don't you need to go get it but on a mac you need to edit it and rename the end with a dot zip Press use zip and then you can unzip it. 
And you just want to be able to get your Minecraft 1.6.4 jar as a folder so we can open it up. Now, if you're on a PC and you had WinRAR, you should be here too. So you just want to go into Assets, Minecraft, Textures, and then in Items, you're going to want to drag and drop your goldenpig.png into there. So now we are in here with all the other textures of Minecraft. Wait, what? Yeah, it's, it's in here somewhere. So let's close this out and now we can test it out because we are done. So you're going to want to press your nice big green button and you should not be getting any errors. It's going to ask, do we want to save these? Of course we want to save those. So it should work. Let's see. Is it launching? It takes a little bit to launch. Oh, see, look, launching client. It's taking a little bit of percents. And here we go. All that crazy stuff. And here we go, it's launching our fake little wrapper version of Minecraft. Here we go, Mojang, come on, let's do this, come on, are we gonna do it? Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Is it going to work? Yes, it worked, guys, we did it. So let's go into mods and look, see, look, the Golden Piggy, mo the Golden Piggies mod version 1.0. That was, we said right here, the Golden Piggies mod version 1.0. So we can click on it and we did not provide any of those things yet. Go to single player in a world that we've made already or something. Loading the world. And here we are. It is super laggy in this little wrapper fake version of Minecraft. But that is okay. So let's see. If we go into our materials, there it is! Our awful golden piggy. It looks like a weird little Pokemon buggy thing. Bunny. So let's see. If we, I haven't actually tested this before. But if we t do this. Um, 800, I believe. Um, oh. Oh, of course. Um, just, if you're gonna give yourself an item, just remember that they named you, like, player. Player, they give you a player and then a random number at the end. So, just, just be aware of that. And it doesn't look like, see here, what, what did I, what, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like you can do the slash give command. Unfortunately. No, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? I think I dropped it. I was pressing Q. But here it is, our amazing golden piggy. So in the next episode, we're going to be looking at crafting recipes. So you can so you can craft your golden piggy or your mirror or whatever, leaf, I don't know, whatever you've made. So if this helped you guys, please remember to leave a like and go um, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing lots more of these videos and... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me, guys. Just make sure to leave a like and check back for the next episode. We're going we're gonna to be learning how to craft, craft, craft our golden pigs that we're going to drop out of the world before this video is over. But, yeah, as I just say, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. And when I get down to bedrock. Ah, it's taking so long. And... And goodbye!